Okay guys, here's a quick little video of the Aspire, Mr. RC Sound Aspire uh, sound system install with two TT25 speakers mounted in each nacelle and the Aspire unit actually mounted on the belly in a hatch I made right below and slightly after that second canopy there on the inversion I've done of the brand new gorgeous Flightline RC F7F3N in my version Tiger Cat. Here we go. We'll see how well this foam shock I've got holds up left. <laughs> Here's the guns, the one of the auxiliary sounds. And let me get to my other switch on the radio and aux 2 sound. I believe these are alternate. He's got mixed sounds. It's not the same every time on the Ox 2. That's bogeys incoming, fighters incoming, watch your six guys. Guns one more time. And one more quick one of the startup sequence here. My foam chalk doesn't quite hold the airplane, so I can only get to about 10-15% power. And the shut, shut down. Pretty well synchronized. Uh, all I did was make sure that the ESCs are individually calibrated. Uh, before I plugged in the sound system, I plug in the batteries first. I give it about five seconds before I plug in the power unit, which is on a JST pigtail. I soldered onto one of the. Uh, ESC connectors. This has got two 4000s, which I did my maiden on it, Admiral 4040C uh, LiPos, which is the batteries I prefer, 3600s and 4000s. The CG did not change at all from my original maiden flight and is still exactly where it is, as well as the battery placement. I didn't have to shuffle the batteries at all. So distributing the weight was perfect and it didn't change anything from maiden flight day before I had the sound system in it and probably only added uh, I haven't weighed it exactly yet but I'm guessing less than half pound quarter pound tops between the two TT25s and the Aspire unit which is a little larger and heavier than the 4.1 the sound you just got through listening to is the double wasp with the whistle so uh, right now I had the card mounted right side up flat um, with the heat sink on top which gets airflow down through the fuselage and when the plane goes into an upward dive it'll actually give me the whistle screaming sound kind of like a Stuka or um, P-51 and so forth. If I mounted the car the other direction it would be in a downward dive which I may end up doing later. Right now I'm just going to try it like this. This is the initial install. One more time. Power. I just barely touched the throttle. I'll bring it up to about 10%, 20%. Now uh, maybe a little less than that. That's about 15%. And then immediate shutdown. So the new Aspire system calibrated real well and set up with the motor timing. So it looks really realistic, so I'm very impressed. These are the original Aspire sounds. 
uh, from the first card that I've had for a demo for the oh quite a while yeah I think the past year I haven't put the upgrade sounds in here yet which he's made some bandit sounds these are the true original sounds that uh, Andrew did uh, and he's made a set of uh, call them cheater sounds they're mod they're modified with deeper tones and higher pitches and so forth um, for people who like that right now and I will be trying those out later when I take the sound card back out and uh, upload those onto the SD card again this is the Mr. RC sound system Aspire with two TT25s and the fabulous uh, Flightline RC F7F-3 Tiger Cat